Good morning, and welcome to another Promise of the Bible. The Bible speaks about being thirsty to explain our need for spiritual nourishment. Thankfully, the word is life for those who are thirsty. And if you feel thirsty today, then that's a good thing, because we uh, have then recognised that we need something so essential for a meaningful and spiritually healthy life. Now, these are promises that we're going to read that we can take hold of today and find spiritual nourishment for our thirsty souls. Beginning with Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Psalm 107, 9. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. John chapter 7 from verse 37. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Revelation 22 from verse 17. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. John chapter 4 from verse 13. Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. For the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. In Psalm 63 from verse 1. O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Praise the Lord that we can come to him thirsty and be refreshed and replenished by the water of life. Freely given, living water that is not like natural water that satisfies only a, a short time, but living water that becomes a fountain springing up into an everlasting life. That is a promise for today, a promise worth holding on to. May the Lord bless you and I will see you tomorrow for another promise of the Bible.